what is good, what is good, what is good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy Big Shane, and we are back with some gaming content recorded the regular way every 25 minutes, and um, we're going to get the thing started with this new game called Banishers, it's a ghost hunting pair, yep, I will accept that, um, very future we don't need, we don't uh, no, I wish to collect any of the sure, or whatever, don't care. Yep, that works. Alright. I'm gonna get this started. Um So this is a new big action RPG from Don't Nod, who makes Life is Strange, Vampire, and games like that. Um very interesting this, so don't know how to explain a lot of it, but let's just get it right into the game. We will go normal. I just have some fun with this <clears throat> experience. Don't not tell us great stories. For me, Vampire was a little boring, but the story of the game was good. The gameplay was meh. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Uh, we'll let the story uh, tell itself. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. <laughs> and a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. America! Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. We love you. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend <clears throat> needs help, this can be no easy business. Gred, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Ah, uh, she's sleeping with a student. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Ah, uh, shit. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, ah. the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all, to haunt or be haunted. Charles there Dallas. lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. All right. June 7th, 1695. 
If this is June, I'd hate to see January. <laughs> I'd wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. The Scottish warrior, Red. That's the way you're controlling the shot. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did oh, something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead okay, don't work. I wanted to attack. No such place. Fire two. Okay, so we got a tower. It's not attack. a bad idea. Work for me. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. All right. Kind of normal third person stuff. I think we can get through here. Sure. Yeah, we're almost there. We're creeping through the <laughs> rotten, falling down house. The pray for the empty to show us how to do it before we do it. Looks steady enough. Yeah, it's fine. Know how to get through. I played plenty of these. But well, you can skip these moments. That's cool. Watch out! Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. I'm up. Oh. I can break my way through here. Ah. And the guy war jumpy. Call this a fight? All right, just a couple of. Ghosty boys. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. Just... You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? All right. So very familiar combat buttons. of recent action RPGs. Oh, more wonders. Ah, oh, you got that there, Chief. Behind you! Oh yeah, good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. 
Whoever, this doesn't bode well. Too slow. Uh, when the banish game hope was X to banish your target. Time to leave for good. Alright. That's cool. Ow. So banish the target. It's like a finisher, so it's alright. Alright. Perhaps these last words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date, I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year 19, uh, 1695. I thought we'd be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again. The golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother is lies dead. And I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks these road. Terrible spirits took us. New weakness curse. You who read this thou, I tell you, run. These people left me in town just a few days ago. Oh, what exactly is going it. on here? Take one. Oh, hello, dead lady. What? Ah, got him. Okay, you can dodge into boxes to break them. Alright. That was a bigger boy. Died easily. Epic gameplay slicing. That all goes badly for the case. Situation's worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. That, that is a very like pretty a picture right there. It's like super pretty. Isn't that what selectmen do? When we get oh, to town, hey, we may need face. to sit up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. Leather. Who the hell Kinky. runs their own crops? People who fear pestilence or disease. Or both. Well, how very biblical. Jericho the Herald's Helmet. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. Thumbed up crops and ran out of food. And they probably eat the horses. New in town. Welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther Hello? again. <laughs> Would you a lecture There's on the Saturday here. night? Hello. A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open-minded as Charles.
Hey, buddy. Creepy pilgrim man. All right, so the end of docks in the cemetery. Docks are this way, the end of this way, I'm guessing the cemetery is this way. Oh, hey. You, who are you? Good day, sir. You'll be Haskell's banishers, I take it. Antea Duarte. This is Red McRaith. Pew Bachelor. The governor had Pew me prepare bachelor. the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. <laughs> no. We sent them away. I don't believe that you, buddy. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. <sighs> no, it is not. All right. We're expected at the tavern. Where might we find it? The King's Arm. You can't miss it for the lamps are lit. The school is now a bunkhouse and the meeting house cold and dark. But the tavern shines yet. Well of course. then, let us be thankful for small mercies. Okay, bye. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. Good luck then. To the both of you. Yeah, she demanded that. Town is filled with sinners to hell and evil worshippers who do the devil's work. We should have sent them all away. God watches us here as we live willingly the treacherous liars. These chanting demons will not get the likes of me, but they might corrupt the weak minded. May fervor and prayer bless our souls in these times of trial. Whatever's going on here, I suspect it to be a little worse than the devil's work. Must be. Letting a Scots Catholic walk about on charms. <laughs> so the inn is still lit up, so. Guessing that's it over there. There's the inn. Oh, right there. And somebody has very good writing in there. Like super clean writing. Great. Sets the door. Right, let's go see. Let's go see our boy. Hello. I must take a moment by myself. Yeah, right, why are you pushing me, bro? Huh. It's like move, bitch. Be out the way. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Or as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McRaith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thick Skin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. 
You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Bye. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And How now you know? that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Um... Yeah. Could your physicians not save him? Would that we had a physician left, but it would have made no difference. Charles was dead when we found him, and we do not know how or why. One or two among our company have knowledge of the physic. Purples, they said. Rupture, strangery, or sadness. Guesses, or... As a man of science in New Eden, I stand alone. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. I too was something of a Rather witcher. a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Huh, you never know. I think you're hiding something, my guy. So, why is town so Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. The dark wood. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. 
I shall stand for the company, I said, as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Right. Because we must. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon you. Uh, yeah, don't not is very good. on making God's poor Story creatures going. suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. No, my guy. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. Thank you. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Let's go, Red. As announced in the last town hall meeting, I hereby close the King's Arm Tavern, leaving the key to the selectmen. There shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked and so are the bedrooms. God bless. Charity Crooked. Red, you coming, my boy? You just want to sit there. Yeah, let's do some stairs. The rooms are locked. I would just steal this real quick. A piece of eight plus nineteen. That must be the currency. Right, let's go through this cemetery and look at the body. Y'all want to see a dead body? Damn it, Charles! Those are cursed sea stones. If only we'd been here earlier. No, oh, no. But, as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. Facts. Wild Cheville Lilac. Lilac and berries like the Witcher. Slept for fear you would not come. Oh, we here, girl. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these, these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. 
I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he <clears> is. <throat> Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated. But at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown. But his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin knew Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... Sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said. That time and God have not uh, Excuse me, I mean, uh, I haven't seen the light, so. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. <clears throat> if he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Esther. Ah, I said rest, bitch. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? You stay put. We'll find the way. It says that you're Dr. First It contains important information about the person it is linked to. You further this any given moments to their haunting cars menu. Right, let's take a look at our haunting cars menu. New Eden Town. Alright, so it does have a um <clears throat> vampire esque menu, so understand why Charles lingers. Investigate the study, investigate the bedroom. Landfall, oh, yep. New Eden Town is set out. Alright, so let's do some investigating. A new Scotch in G major by Henry Purcell. Purcell? Could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. <laughs> A letter from Eleanor Combs. My dear Charles, how delighted it was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you. You know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are a phenomenon perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer. Be it sorcery, the presence of an ichor, or something else entirely, we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all the observations that Brotherhood of St. Paul's stole has so little 
presence in the new world, any new information, can we place you to do it? Please stay safe, my friend. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me, that was nice of him. Esther, some food ill for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. A study of age for cells, another age for cell thing. Sadness in its old way, study of age. How do you feel, Piet, today? Piet tree. My sweet Esther, I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical school. In the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that a few months I have left away from your loving arms are a great benefit to me, though this experience will increase my knowledge in all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds and swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into the mysterious entrenchments. That pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this, and when I can see the pride in your eyes, that I know what war I play in this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know I can do anything as long as you look at me with that spark that is all yours. So sweet. My beloved, I said, I long and low to hold your arms. The natural of our marriage was to my heart the delicacy of my palate, a sweet of which I cannot tire. At last, we shall be together and together forever and ever until the end of the day, many years from now, when we are old and our last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us, and I assure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and I will make it so. I will write it to you every day until the blessed moment when I can finally shed the weight of letters, letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. You are the man who is very in love. My sweet Esther, I was down to get you a there to support me and you are on you're an angel from the heaven to help me in my dark mission you are the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisible and yet i feel so sorry for bringing you to this tortured land you know well that things are not as they should be in new eden and i am sorry that you have to you have to i am sorry to have you by my side for i fear for your life i wish we could have found a quiet corner of this land and raise our children but i fear a curse I think we should leave, or perhaps we should go ahead while I defend our home. Think about it, sir. I cannot bear the darkness taking you away from me. That's not going to chair. How pleasant to see these old, familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. That's very kind, but we've a long day ahead of us. We don't want to bother you. I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For old time's sake. Of course. Alright. Trying not to read into certain things, but these games are about those certain Charles things. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Let me see what's in here first. Okay, so that's the bedroom, all right. Let's start this room, move. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God, he was a good man. Precious king from a chest set, protected by a glass dome. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? 
<laughs> I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Is there anything I can mess with on here? I don't see anything. It's a big old fish. I see the story, Marcus, so I'm going to inspect some other things before I do it. Good to know the person. Former Carius. Near this side of the water, a few other know that I came to New Eden as minister in order to pursue research into the New World on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Parsonal. And what strangers have I found? There are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, but I suspect there be witches. And if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her for her story. Alright, so I think there's witches here. Two for Dutton. We will check that in just a minute. Let me go check their room. See if anything familiar to learn about them. Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? <laughs> oh, he was hiding his hair loss. <laughs> Where did that mess come from? I remember the teaching of my masters, may God bless their souls, against the threatening unknown when the common knowledge is not enough to understand the situation. The sagacious and pious man will widely turn to the very roots of this art, the words and meaning, the power hidden to each of them. Nightmare has nothing to do with a nocturnal female horse, as in the French Koshwa, the German Nachtmare. Mare here comes from the 12th century in the middle of Deutsch. It means ghost or demon. A nightmare is not a puny fiend sneaking into the bedrooms to suffocate the dreamers, but one of the rarest of powerful spirit defined by its only purpose to spread its insidious and unforgiven wrath upon the living soul it may reach. According to my research, no occultist will have ever successfully banished nightmare, but why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. <clears throat> I remember a disturbing poem I read in London. My lucky, my young, oh, no, no, no. In my younger years, <clears throat> about the terrifying ability of such entities, supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets, to influence their thoughts and perception and make them endure the worst fear, able even to bend the distance or alter time, creating tantalizing and personalized nightmares, victims can hope to escape from such <clears throat> a petrifying concept. I pray God with all my heart and soul that this not has risen upon us. We would how would we then escape the spare death and doom? I need information, but where to find them? Charles Davenport. A silver brooch, habitually worn by Charles Davenport, and with the stick the three hilted sword. Charles always wore this brooch. Brooch. Just things Sorry, are untouched. Nothing's moved. Lo, children, are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is the reward. Psalm 127-3. Three drops of lavender oil in the chamomile infusion before sleep. Put a green rub between the palms and behind the ears three times a day. If restless persist, use lemon balm. I mean, Evelyn. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there. Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Right, the first story, Marcus. My dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell you... I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell you what day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial, the shame of it. How I failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. Dare to see him buried. Lord have mercy of us, guide our friends as to us before it is too late. 
New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left to me, but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. My love, Esther. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. I should not probably bid farewell to her husband and now summons from it. Okay. Poor yeah. woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. Maybe we'll do this other one now. Thirteen, when I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. Fourteen, when thou scares me with dreams and terrifies me through visions, so that my soul chooses strangle, strangling and death rather than my life, she comes to me in my dreams. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm? What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions foreshadowing? Visions foreshadowing. It's something behind it. Someone behind this. Who is the real target? Is what causes anger to, to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer off its rest. And this cannot perdure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse? Torment? Alright, so we got a... We got a hint. Charles worried about the influence of threatening spirit had on the settlers' dreams. So it sounds like we're dealing with a Think nightmare. people the beds. Charles' ghost might give us answers. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Has the curse Learned brought more here? nightmares? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams, that it had a use for us, that we needed to fight it with all God's might. But now Charles is gone and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him, none respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change, I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not mm. permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. So there's a story thing I want to see if I can get it to say. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does- Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present okay. about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest. Until he has his. You can count on it. Oh, we'll start with the back. house. Charles is... Thank you. Okay, bye. We'll keep looking around. I'll be here if... Right. 
Now let's go to cemetery. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Did she won't let go, which is causing Charles to linger. You'll be alright. I doubt it. But I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Hi. You too. I'm always careful. Now we got the map. Here's the map. It's the Sea of Perry shop. Alright. And landfall. Okay, cool. Talk to people on the way. I do want to talk. Hello. Hi. Hi. No, you don't want to talk? Okay. Ah, but you do. Get out of my way. I'd be in a park. Huh? What's up, Wally? be one of the banishers then? Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your name, I have forgotten it. Antea Duarte. You may happen upon my companion, Red McGraith, about the place. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbors, someone must have let the evil in. A name might help. I'll not poison my parish with loose chatter. Right. Besides, I have no name to give you. Understandable. Charles, Minister Davenport, said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are a curious character indeed, mistress. My dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business, and so they shall remain. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm some miles from here, and yes, the curse sits there too. Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. Thank you, Antia. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. So, thank the Lord for that. No food here. Yeah. So that angry pilgrim dude that's coming from the cemetery. The docks are closed for sabotage by fire. All trade to Boston, Marblehead, Salem, etc. is cut to the Sabatia is caught. Um, do 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 Some glowy things. Take that. Ooh, a piece of eight. What do we have out here? It's 
take the shit off of their hook. The lake is frozen solid. This is a, ooh, a chest. Some more pieces of eight. You get rich off these people. The music is, I like the music. It's like suspenseful. Alright, let's go cemetery. Alright. A wisp. So close to town. Cemetery is good. Where does it go over there? Where are you leading me? Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. All right, let's take the um, winter green. The wisp tried to get me killed. So let's see what's up here. Hoof fungus. We got pyrite. All right. You feel places marked by objects that are marked by ghosts. But in close by proximity, these elements, your bane rings, will be triggered like with the arm jar and walk around the final floor. God. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Many dead in more recent years. Ah, oh, Charles is grave. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. No, I want to explore around here some more before. Okay, something. I like point this way. Oh, there's our wisp. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Alright. Memories of the dead land, you hear reveal them, you must gather necessary resources. Like pyrite, three pyrite, and seashore candle. Seashore right. candle and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. More pyrite right there. That was when died in one shot, so can't complain. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
it's a quicker way down. Okay, go back down here. Okay. You already got that, dude. There should be seashore candle near the water. I'll go near the water too. Everyone buried here died in 1677. Very the previous weird. epidemic? buy water and get this seashore thing. <clears throat> I'm going to take every single plant I see. Back to seashore, the sea wars, whatever the fuck it's called. Seashore candles, alright. So we take those. Now let's go do our ritual. A lot of ghosties around here. A whole lot of ghosties. Alright. Let's do this ritual. To be able to remember you must perform a harkening ritual, okay. Doing a harkening ritual as we speak. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask oh. so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No. But neither do Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? Charles Barry found half buried in a muddy cemetery. It's open to jobs. 7 13 15. When I say my bed shall come for me, my couch shall use my complaints. Just the little grinner, this tie is down to the essence of Charles's ghost. After the closure performed by and Tia, the bond between ghost and the world will be served for good. Severed for good. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. She gave him a heart attack.
I missed that earlier. All right, Charles. Dan still coming in mud. Made manifest? Yeah. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. It's super interesting. Very good writing, the voice acting. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, Ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Hey, Charles. And I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Alright, Charles, let's ask some questions. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose me oh. for a reason. Jimmy. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many <clears throat> afflicted souls. There was no more time. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. <laughs> Dante, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit. Birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They... vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. Somebody could if you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. 
Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does the malevolence manifest? What did it look like? How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws spectres to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. She was... Love. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. Nah, fuck that. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost. And I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your soul. Antea, wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I gotta banish him. So. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. <clears throat> Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friend. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed.
Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. My Charles, where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. He's gone. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where... They say walk at a decent pace, they're the not all slow and shit. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Oh, they even run when you run. Hell yeah. Good job, guys. Good job, don't not. Yeah, she's quicker than I am. She got a fucking pace on it. Look at her, she's gone. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. You should get some sleep. You'll need it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, Esther. House is not that big, Sin. How do you get lost? Damn it. Damn it. On to the schoolhouse. Hey. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte? Duarte? You came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So, you're the face of hope, are you? You what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. That's Sheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. Attitude? What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze, and at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most we'll curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort, but I'm afraid I would be lying. Do you have bad dreams, Antia? It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask well, if the curse has brought Madden. you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling, only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine... Worship is dangerous now. 
Do you angry. remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I have lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all I'm an optimist. And that <laughs> makes me a fool. Okay, bye. -bye. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? Let's get to the schoolhouse so I can get some rest. And we will end this episode of this. I'm super intrigued and excited to keep going. Yes? What's up, Hugh? What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Better days lie ahead if his servants remain humble and true. I did not mean to do that. I detect this approval. Do I detect a note of disapproval, Mr. Bachelor? I was hoping for a warmer welcome. Oh, I don't doubt your honesty, nor your will to fight the devil. But we have prayed for salvation. And, madam, without wishing to offend, you are no angel. All right. You don't know me, but okay. Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor? <laughs> you don't want to hear about those. Try me. Try me. In my sleep. Chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two poor souls are trapped inside. A man and a woman, screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. I wake with a start and rush to the window. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. Is the meeting house haunted? Did you know the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? I did know that. To his shame, the late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss, if the devil sits in our meeting house, it means that we, the people of New Eden, have failed to repudiate his works. Obviously. Uh, you're kind of a dick. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. I shall not wish you luck. I shall wish you salvation. What's wrong with you? You cackle. Let me see my boy in here. Take some leather. Banish his techniques. The banishers, we are no spiritual guides or inquisitors, <coughs> we are ghost hunters for hire. Specialize in some some crafters, we train hard to protect the living through our rituals and knowledge about ghost specters. We are no cult. There is no hierarchy nor established dog between us. The most obvious reason why a banisher becomes a banisher is because he or she wants to protect the living from the dead. For whatever reason, we are efficient, adaptive, and versatile. A community as sparse and nomadic, just like our predecessors, where we wander the world in search of living victims of the dead, cleansing haunting houses using techniques tried and trusted and owned by generations of masters and pupils, releasing or banishing the ghost, rarely bl blaming the living. Unlike puny sorcerers, we do not waste our time crafting enchanted rifles with the butt barrels stocked and graved with runes or symbols of power, hunting specters otherwise. We wish you depend on a single weapon. Instead, we bring our bane powder prepared according to recipes handed down for generation to generation, rendering any firearm capable of shooting and damaging a supernatural target, no matter what the ammunition is efficient and adaptive versatile. Our knowledge of alchemy and botany helps us by selecting minerals and plants and properties to support our work. We do not waste time in libraries and swooms. We do not waste our time drawing, carving, and engraving complex circles of power because we gain the power of nuance and we use twice as much or more in time just keep putting ourselves and those around us in unnecessary danger. Yeah, that sounds like a shot at the Witcher. 
Instead of a clever banisher carry stamps in wood or metal, in which you mark a door or stone with the necessary symbol of the appropriate ritual, you always wear rings upon our fingers with these symbols, so we always have a range of powerful runes close to hand. If it were efficient, it doesn't rush about. Thus we rail, thus we fight, thus we send back the creeping dead. We are supposed to be from death to the dead by Bossasaw H. Frenhoyer, hater of the Witcher. I read show by the fire. Alright, let's rest. I got a little mouse harp. I thought that that's what that was when I walked in. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport. Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, <clears throat> they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. Um, the dead have no business with the living. The dead have no business with the living. Letting go is hard. Even for the dead. Ties bind fast. And we are paid to cut the knot. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. <laughs> Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost. You <laughs> wouldn't. I would. Then I'd kill you again for dying before I do. Sometimes you scare me. <laughs> I know. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a what do you call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. Have a nightmare. What it look like? Where is Antea? She took her firebane. She says I'm the reckless one. Landfall quest completed. Death to the dead. Alright, so I'm I need to end this video here. We will come back and um, find Antia here on the next gameplay. So I'd like to thank you for joining me. And um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time on Banishers or whatever game I played next before the next episode. All right. Bye for now.